welcome back dear friends inside this class we are going to discuss about the javascript loop methods so first i'm going to tell you what is loop what can we do with loop and inside this class after discussing about loop we can start coding the first loop which is for loop so loops are used to execute the same block of code i specified a number of times or while i specified condition is true very often when you write code you want the same block of code to run over and over again in a row so i'm just going to tell you yes in a very short so if you want to run a block of code again and again and if you want to just repeat the same block of code again and again so for that case a loop is the best option for example you want to just display a message just thousand times hundred of times so you must write inside javascript just thousand lines of code for that but loops make that just very easier for uh, for us very easier by using loop we can just display thousand lines of message or thousand lines of code just by writing one line of code inside loop so loops methods methods in javascript number one is for loop number two is nested loop number three is while loop number four is do while loop so inside this class we are going to discuss about for loop open the code editor and go to file menu and save us this file inside the same folder by giving the name for hyphen loop.html and click to save we can just remove everything from here and javascript a loop method i'm just writing here so inside this script tag we are going to write for example inside the document dot write we are using this function here for right now i love javascript so i love javascript i'm just going to use a br here if you want to display this message just for 10 time for 20 time or maybe for thousands of time so if we not use loop so you must write this for example if you want to display this message 100 of time you can just copy and paste or you can uh, write this code 100 times so it, it is just a waste of time and uh, you can just write a lot of code for this small purpose task so we have loop for this solution i'm just going to cut this for right now you can just cut this for creating loop you are just writing here for then you have this to round bracket then these two curly braces inside this round bracket or you can say inside this parentheses we have three steps the first step is that you are creating a variable for example x is a, a variable is equal to zero i have just assigned the value for x is equal to zero it is the starting point x is less than equal to 10 so this is the ending point for example you want to just display the message for the 10 time for the 20 time you can just write here 20. then x plus plus so i'm just going to paste the message here we can save this right click open in browser and you can see i'm going to zoom this we have this one time two time three time four five six seven eight nine ten only one time because the starting point is zero and we have told here less than or equal to ten it is just started from the zero and till ten so it is total 11 so we can just use here the variable name then a plus sign here then just uh, we can use here a space now we can save this come here and refresh so you can see we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so you can set the starting point for example from 5 to 10 you can save this now refresh so you can see 5 6 7 8 and you can 
set the ending tick to the hundred or to the thousand you can save this and refresh so you can see this is the starting point and we can see the ending point here in the last thousand you can see 9.99 and this thousand so this is the beauty of loop by using loop you can just repeat uh, just the same block of code again and again just by writing a single line of code inside loop and it was about uh, just for loop so loops uh, we have four kind of loops as i told you uh, just uh, loops will work same but uh, the way of writing uh, loops will be different for example we have written for loop here then you have to find the variable inside this parentheses maybe for the nested loop or for the do while loop or for the while loop it is not like this maybe it's some different so we'll see in the next class uh, how we can just create other loops so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next class